Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here. Happy Thursday. We are so close to the weekend for today. We're tracking strong winds likely gusting around 30 miles per hour, especially throughout the morning and through the afternoon commute as well. Then we're expecting showers most likely into Friday, but especially through Friday afternoon before temperatures drop into both Saturday and Sunday. Here's a live look at our weather camera right now. Partly cloudy skies are going to dominate our viewing area, at least for the morning commute. At least you don't have to worry about the rain gear, though. Um, but we are all under that fire weather warning. This goes through 7 p.m. Central Time as we're tracking very low humidity and very breezy winds. So any fires that are lit will likely spread and be become uncontrollable. So just refrain from lighting those fires throughout today as conditions will not be favorable or safe for them to be lit. Temperatures this morning are very mild. We're in those lower 60s and 50s all across the viewing area. 63 is what we're seeing here in Bowling Green. And here's a look at those winds. Around 30 miles per hour are expected as we get closer to our midday down to around 25. But this is still considered very, very windy uh, for the afternoon commute. So just be mindful of this. Uh, no fires are to be lit for today. At least it's going to be a beautiful day otherwise. Temperatures starting in those mid 60s, partly cloudy skies uh, will continue to dominate our viewing area through our midday. By then we'll see highs uh, peaking into the low to mid 80s with very continuous Continuous strong winds out of the south. So just be mindful of that. It is going to be very windy out there for today. Whether you have plans for lunch or for dinner, uh, make sure you hold on to those napkins, those utensils as well. And then we're tracking a strong cold front arriving Friday morning, affecting our very western counties first before arriving into the rest of our viewing area, turning widely scattered by then. I think by the afternoon commute, most of us will have seen some of those rain showers. These showers will continue into parts of the evening before before they wash out of our viewing areas, we had closer to midnight, but we'll see a mix of heavy rain, strong winds and a few thunderstorms, though no severe weather is expected for tomorrow. Here's a full look at that seven day forecast. Enjoy the sunshine and those mild conditions while we have them because we only have today left of those conditions before rain arrives into Friday. Then temperatures drop to the 60s and 50s on Saturday and Sunday. So any weekend plans will require maybe that jacket or that sweater to stay warm out there. By Monday, we're back into the mid 60s. Then Tuesday, we're near 70 before widespread showers move back in on Wednesday. By then, the high will be around 66 degrees.